Who's who's the gatekeeper? You want to give me a thumbs up when you let everybody in? Okay. And good morning, everyone. Wonderful to have everybody join us. We're just gonna wait a couple of minutes to make sure everybody can log in, get their coffee, make themselves comfortable. Another lovely day in Alberta. So exciting to see so many people join us this morning. Thank you. All right, I think we're going to get started. It's 10 o'clock and we believe in starting on time. So good morning, everybody, and welcome to day two of our World Explorer virtual event. Today, we have three wonderful presentations for you to enjoy, scenic river cruises, the yachts of Seabourn, and Holland America. So wherever you want to go in the world, we will have a presentation for you. Everyone is muted. You do have the control to have your camera on or off, up to you. If you do have questions, there is a chat feature and we will have moderators answering the questions during the presentation. If for some reason your question is not answered, please reach out to your Expedia Cruises consultant and they'll be able to assist. So my name is Lisa Anflick. I'm one of the consultants at Expedia Cruises and our annual World Explorer event is being hosted by the six Expedia Cruises locations in Edmonton, as well as our location in West Vancouver. We are coming up to 19 months the travel has shut down. If you are on this call, I'm sure you love to travel and want to start exploring the world again. Travel fulfills us and that's why we do it. And if you're like me, you're missing it. We have great news, cruising has started. Cruise ships started to sail this past June. We have now had four months of sailings in Alaska, Caribbean and Europe and river cruising has also started in Europe. Cruise ships are operating safely with the highest protocols and cruising is by far the safest way to travel. At the end of September, we had 50% of the cruise ship fleets back sailing. And at Expedia Cruises, we've had our, our clients come back as well as some of our consultants. Everybody came back with raving reviews, thrilling to get back on board and have a wonderful experience that a cruise can provide. I will say that travel will be a little bit more complex nowadays. Now more than ever, the professional advice of a travel consultant is needed. Our consultants are here to help you navigate the new complexities of travel and make sure your vacation is safe and seamless. I'm always amazed when people tell me they book their own vacations online directly with the cruise line. I think that there's things that I could do. I could do my own taxes. I could cut my own hair. I could even change the oil in my car. But those are things that I choose to leave to the expert. And you may want to leave travel plans to the experts. When you what you will receive when you book with Expedia Cruises Travel Advisor is the following. Expertise. There are hundreds of different cruise lines and cruise ships and a travel agent can help you find the right one for you. You will never pay less booking directly with the cruise line and many times booking with a travel agent, you'll get a better price. Expedia Extras, booking with Expedia, we block group space on hundreds of sailings and we can offer you extra things such as shipboard credits that booking directly with the cruise line you will not receive. Very important nowadays, information regarding passport, visas, entry requirements, COVID testing, vaccin vaccination protocols, what documents do you need? We are here to help you navigate that. We are here to assist you in emergencies or when problems occur. And best of all, isn't it wonderful to have one person plan your entire vacation? If you are ready to travel, we are ready to help. We do believe the time is now. For some of you, you may not feel the time is right to travel at this moment, but the time is right to plan. Planning for 2022, 2023, and even 2024. Studies have shown that approximately 40% of the pleasure of a trip comes from planning one. 
there is a great deal of pent up demand and we've all missed many seasons of vacations. Tours and cruises are starting to fill up and in many cases, space is limited. Last year has been very challenging for all of us. And sometimes what makes me smile is the thought of where do I wanna go next? My bucket list has become a to-do list and I can't wait to start traveling again. Time has passed and like you, I have much to make up for. Whatever your dreams are at Expedia Cruises, our travel consultants can help you make them come true. We are committed to finding you the best value for your travel dollars and we're more than just cruises. Our name is Expedia Cruises Air, Land and Sea Vacations. We can help you plan all the components of your trip and best of all, we are in your neighborhood so you can shop local. So sit back, enjoy your coffee or tea and let's start exploring the world. Our first presenter today, Lisa Willey, Business Development Manager, Western Canada for Scenic Cruises. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa, and all of the fabulous Expedia Cruises team that's on the call today and that put this together. I'm so excited to share with you some of the uh, beautiful, well, we're going to focus on Portugal, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about Scenic first and just take you on the journey. So grab that coffee, sit back and relax as I explore, as we explore together. So first of all, what's kind of top of mind for everyone is the, the safety and, and well-being. We are all aware how much the world has changed and we want to ensure that you feel safe and comfortable in choosing to travel with us. Our commitment to your health and safety is number one priority and we want to give you peace of mind. So let me tell you about some of the safety protocols that we have in place in, in Europe on our river ships. And we have been safely and successfully operating ships over in, in cruises over in Europe. We're operating in Bordeaux, in Portugal, also along the Rhine, the Maine, and the Danube. And things that we do require in today's world, we, before boarding the ship, a negative PCR test result 72 hours prior to boarding time, as well as being proof that you're fully vaccinated. So your vaccination card. Portugal requires a locator form to be filled out and we have a healthcare questionnaire. So these are the only documents that you need to join a scenic river cruise. We do have lots of protocols in place on the ships, including the mast in our crew and our, our guests being masked while on the ship and on coaches for excursions where you cannot uh, safely distance. We have extra hand sanitizers, extra cleaning protocol. We do provide masks and hand sanitizers for our guests on board the ship as well. <clears throat> Plus, for guests that are joining us for a pre-trip, arriving earlier in Portugal for some land, the crew will also check the documents they have, as well as do a quick antigen test before boarding the ship. So lots of measures are in place to keep all of our guests and, and crew safe while they journey through Europe with us. So let's talk a little bit about the scenic difference. We have and continue to raise the bar in all that we do and all that we offer to our valued guests. Your custom designed five star floating hotel hosts no more than 163 guests. We're truly all inclusive luxury from transfers, unlimited beverages, premium beverages throughout the day, excursions and tipping. You have access to laundry services in a mini bar in your suite that's restocked daily with your preferred beverages. It's truly walletless travel. Our scenic enrich and scenic free choice experiences mean that you won't miss out on any of those must see sites. And tailor-made devices will ensure you never get lost, which is something I need when I'm over in Europe. Your well-being, your way with healthy meals, yoga classes, salt therapy lounges, as well as e-bikes on board. And we have a wellness coach on hand to guide and support you throughout your journey. For Scenic, we have 35 years of award-winning reputation, state-of-the-art ships, best in, in class crew, uh, number one choice for the small ship luxury river cruising in Europe, Europe. And our highest priority is the commitment to the health, safety, and well being of our guests and crew. So, all you have to do, like you're doing right now, is sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. So, let's look at on board. This is the, we're, I'm going to talk to you about our Portugal itineraries that we have operating right now. And this is the beautiful ship that will be your home away from home, the Scenic Azure. It's only 96 guests. 48 suites, 36 crew, a very intimate, uncrowded experience. Your butler will welcome you on board 
and escort you to your suite. They're there to dedicate, dedicated to providing you with five-star experience every day. They are available to assist and ensure your every need is met. They're trained to meet Scenic's highest standards and just leave it to them to be your butler, to bring you your morning coffee or tea to your suite. They can take care of your laundry, serve you premium beverages, and even shine your shoes if you wanted to. This service is included in every category of suite on board our ships. Complimentary laundry, uh, we, every suite gets one bag per cruise and the higher suites would get even more. Scenic suites deliver the luxury of personal space and are elegantly appointed with premium amenities. All the balconies suites feature the renowned Signature Sun Lounge. We have the beautiful prestigious Scenic suites on board as well as the Junior suites. And here is a good representation of that Scenic Sun Lounge. You can see the lady, she's uh, standing with her doors closed out on her balcony, just a press of the button and the window lowers down. So it's like being on an ocean ship, basically so out on your private balcony. We have balcony suites and we also provide an introductory level uh, suite as well. This is just standard. You don't have the view, you don't have a balcony, but you have a very comfortable place to rest your head and get a good night's sleep. Food is also equally to service a very important part of our travel experience. We have five different dining options on board. So we promise you, you won't go hungry. You'll have a lot to sample and a lot of choices. The Crystal Dining Room is the main restaurant and offers fresh choices every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, including a la carte. For our early risers, our all-day grazers, the River Cafe is the place for you. And our guests, though, will all be invited at least once to join us for a five course meal at part of Portobello restaurant featuring specials and paired with local wines. It's an intimate experience with only 32 guests. And then we also have Table Dior, which is exclusive dining experience for our di Diamond Deck guests on cruises of 10 nights or longer and Royal and Junior Suite guests on cruises of seven nights and fewer. So, if you don't feel like getting out, getting dressed, getting out that evening, you can also select from an extensive in-suite dining menu. So you can see there's lots of choices. This is just to get your taste buds going as you see the type of cuisine that you'll be dining on, all locally sourced, expertly prepared, and the presentation is amazing. Premium drinks will be served throughout the day, all day, not just with your meals. And we, you can enjoy the state-of-the-art gym that we have on board. The, uh, we offer daily scheduled activities to suit every different kind of fitness level. You can be up on the sun deck and join yoga or guided hiking excursions. You choose. If you want to do that, be active, you can. We have a small board for a little extra pampering. Those salon uh, are at an additional charge, but they're there for our, our guests. And here, just picture yourself floating up here under the Portuguese sun. So on shore, we have many different experiences for you. Our all-inclusive scenic free choice program will help you see as many wonders as, as time will permit. You'll be spoiled for choice and have the ability to customize your journey with our carefully curated collection of diverse and immense of shore excursions. And activities will range from active, moderate, and even a relaxed pace. So you have the, based on your interest, your activity level, you have a choice there as well. Exclusive experiences for scenic guests. These, Scenic and Rich are not accessible to an ordinary traveler. And this is an example on a Portugal trip. Your cruise will be, when you arrive in Portugal, you'll have an evening spent at the Sao uh, Francisco Church in Porto for a classical concert, something money can't buy. It's really exclusive and unique. Tailor made GPS. This is an exclusive GPS uh, guided tours, which helps you explore what you want to explore, whether it's culture, architecture, art, or simply heading off the beaten track. Our unique tailor-made program is available in, in over 140 locations, even including cycling tours. We make sure you choose your chosen tailor-made tour starts and returns you to the ship location, so you'll never get lost. It's brilliant. It was launched back in 2019. You can even download it in advance to your your mobile phone so you can start pre-planning your trip ahead of time. It includes information from the daily pro cruise programs, uh, an entire travel guide book and full listing of scenic free choice and scenic and rich excursions. So you don't wanna be without this. We even have it while you're cruising on the river. You can access 
the cruising commentary with over 720 points of interest. So it keeps you narrated as you sit back and enjoy. You'll, you'll know the region in depth of what you're, where you are. And the importance of having our experienced tour director on board, as well as excellent English speaking local guides, they really make your journey complete and immerse you into the destination. So we have a lot of different itineraries. I'm focusing on Portugal this, this morning, but I wanted to also let you know where else we cruise, cruise in Europe. We have three different itineraries in France. We sail all along the Rhine, the Main, and the Danube, and even over in Russia. So lots of choices for you to explore with your Expedia Cruises consultant. And when we look at Portugal, we have two options. We have an eight-day option for you. We also have a slightly longer one, which I am going to focus on today, the unforgettable Douro River. It's 11 days, so it takes you a little bit more into the destination. The Douro River winds its way through towns that have somehow managed to preserve their distinctive culture and way of life while the world around them have, has succumbed to change. So with scenic, our guests will explore both the Verosa and Coa Valley and have a full day to explore Salamanca in Spain. Additionally, you will um, visit quaint little villages like Provincend with a guided tour to see their way of life, including their local bakery, a visit to the church, and we have wine tasting to be enjoyed at the restored manor house. You can't go to Portugal without sampling some of the wine, right? So in day one where you arrive, the cruise is, is return to Porto. Here it's really a, a highlight with the iconic sites that you can see this, this photo here is taken from the Pont Dom Luiz pedestrian bridge, which links the cities of Porto and the Villa Nova de Gaia. This fascinating and vibrant city is, is famed for the production of port, which is still stored and matured in the vast cellars that stretch along the banks of the Douro River. So tonight, your first night on board, you'll be entertained by a soulful fado performance. And on day two, your first full day of touring, we have two different scenic free choice options for you to consider. You can take a coach ride and discover the historic treasures of this incredible city, which includes a visit to the Palacio de Bolsa, the stock exchange building. It's an impressive building that took over 65 years to complete. Or perhaps you would like to join a walking tour, which also includes a cable car ride to give you a view of Porto from a different perspective. It's day three and this morning, You'll be waking up in Entre os Rios, which means in between the rivers. This is a small village located north of Porto and situated on the confluence of the Tamega and Douro rivers. From here, you can choose to take a trip out to Piarmas uh, and the impressive Ducal Palace, which is home to the first king of Portugal. Alternatively, visit the fairy tale property of Quinta de Avalada. I'm sorry, I'm not saying all of these uh, pronunciations 100%, but uh, you get the gist for a taste of the region's sparkling wines here. And this afternoon, enjoy your time either on board as we sail to Regula, uh, where you, when we get there, you'll have a chance to see the Douro Museum. In Uchana, this is really unique to scenic. And in addition to discovering the delights of the Douro Valley, we'll also uncover the treasures of the Rosa and Keo Valleys. Uh, the spectacular Verosa Valley is where the first king of Portugal was born, raised and grew into a leader. You'll visit the impeccably preserved church, or pardon me, village of uh, Ucana and walk the fortified bridge, which is pictured here. This is Portugal's first toll bridge. We all know that Portugal is famed for its production of port, but there's also another famous drop and we visit the palace depicted on its label, Matus Palace. It's the historic icon depicted on the labels of the famous Portuguese famous um, Matus Rosé wine. And you'll have the option to enjoy a guided visit of this exquisite building and the surrounding grounds. Alternatively, you can visit the elegant town of Lameo. This uh, is a must for those who appreciate Baroque architecture. And for those, if you want to get in your daily steps, here it is for you. 680 steps will get you to the top of what's known as the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Remedies. Uh, you already have your steps in or it's not big on your list today, don't worry, there's a coach that will take you up here as well. Vin Hatero, we enjoy a full day of cruising along the Douros Valley, where wine growing region, which is very beautiful, <clears throat> scenic with the tiered vineyards up on the hillside. It's also a World Heritage Site listed site. This uh, region has a history of wine production stretching back 2000 years. 
On day six, we'll have the opportunity now to cross the Spanish border from the Doro Valley to the Spanish streets of Salamanca. With breathtaking architecture and intriguing history at every turn, you'll enjoy a guided tour before enjoying some of the local delicacies, followed by plenty of free time to discover this um, fabulous city. You have another option though, if you'd rather, you could visit Frexo de España, Asinta, which is a Portuguese village, which is famed for its silk production. There you go, which is still done entirely by hand. Arriving into the picturesque town of Pazino, you'll have the opportunity to visit the Coa Valley Museum to discover Paleolithic art of the region, which includes thousands of engraved rock drawings of horses, bovines, and other animals, human and abstract figures, all of that dating back as far as 22,000 years BC. Or for a more active guest, you may like to embark on a canoeing ex excursion with one of our expert guides to really experience the magnificent Doro Valley. Alternatively, take in the sights and the taste of the Coa Valley on an excursion to Casa Penova to make delicious sugar covered almonds and taste the region's produce. Visit the Portugal of yesteryear as we discover the traditional and quaint streets of Provençan. It's a place where the locals are proud to introduce you to the way of life, including the local bakery. This is a, a really specially choreographed scenic and rich event that's exclusive to our guests. You will also visit the church for a recital and enjoy some wine tasting in a restored manor house before joining a local family at their home for lunch. So what a really unique, uh, this, this day is gonna be fantastic. Today, you can finally sit back and relax at such a busy, fast paced uh, and itinerary and all um, enjoy all that scenic spaceship has to offer as we make our way back through the Doro Valley and into Porto. Later tonight, you'll be enthralled by a sheer beauty of that Sao Francisco church where you will be treated to the evening traditional Portuguese music, uh, the private concert that I mentioned on our special scenic and rich event. On day 10, we go get back into Porto where we started our wonderful journey. And today is a great opportunity for you to discover more of the side, another side of the city by taking an excursion to the historic and colorful city of Aveiro. The Venice of Portugal, you will be on a guided tour that includes a cruise along the canals and lead through the cities. Alternatively, you might prefer to visit a local porking factory to learn how it's produced and its multitude of uses. Or take a trip to Villa Nova de Gaia, the historic district set on the banks of the Douro River for a tasting of the region's famed drop in one of Porto's most renowned port wine aging cellars. It's your last afternoon with us, so either free time to explore the city or simply kick back on the scenic azure and, and relax, enjoy your last hours. Final morning of your cruise. You don't have to depart and fly home right away. We, we can, we will transfer you to the Porto Airport, but if you have time permitting, you can do one of our effortless and all inclusive five star city, city extensions in either Lisbon before your cruise or Madrid after your cruise. When doing these with Scenic, you will be met at the airport and transferred to your fabulously centrally located hotel right in the heart of the city. You'll enjoy a welcome drink with your fellow travelers and tour director. And during the day, you can either join a local guide for a sightseeing tour or explore on your own. Breakfasts and dinners are included and a full day at leisure to explore the city. So lots of choices. We also offer a little bit more venturing further afield if that interests you with Scenic's easy luxury escorted journeys. You can choose from a wide selection of itineraries, locations, interests, and experiences. Our escorted journeys are seamlessly combined with the luxury cruise and for the ultimate European journey. So just add on that some of the combinations and extensions that are available to you are this Iberian Grander 21 days, or we also have this beautiful one as well with Bordeaux. And we have many more, there's many more. So you can check them out in our brochure, contact your Expedia Cruise Consultant to get a copy of that brochure, or just to ask them questions about the different options that we have available to you.
So wrapping things up in essence of time, we've got a lot to learn about this morning. Hopefully this has intrigued you a bit and wet your whistle a little bit more on Portugal. I'm actually going to Portugal for my first time on one of our cruises at the end of this month. So I'll hopefully be able to get my pronunciation down a little bit better. <laughs> so here we have our, our offer that is exclusive with uh, Ex Expedia Cruises. And it is booked for the month of October. It's saved an additional $250 per person. It's applicable on all of our 2022 Europe River Cruises, but exception of some Portugal sailings. Portugal is in high, high demand. Yeah. It is one of our highest demand itineraries that we have out there. And therefore, the availability isn't as strong as it could be for additional offers. But check with you again, your Expedia consultant, they will find the sailing that has this offer on it and get you booked on it. We have other offers that are out in the marketplace right now that combines with that additional $500 per couple savings. And they include free or reduced air to Europe for 2022, uh, or an air credit if you happen to be using points or wanting to travel a different way. We have a scenic savings, a special $700 savings per couple. This again, unfortunately, excludes Portugal, but is available on the vast array of our other cruises that we have in Europe. Or, and we also have an early payment discount where you can save an additional 10% on your cruise fare if you book and pay in full on balcony suites only by December 15th. So it's a, a, a great way to save some additional money on your journey. We have a free deposit protection plan for peace of mind traveling, and this is a value of $125 per person. In this way, you will not lose your deposit if you need to cancel for some reason. It will be kept as a future travel credit for you. So that's a lot, and I'll turn it back over to Lisa. And thank you very much for your time and attention today. Thank you, Lisa. What a fabulous, fabulous presentation. And I have been fortunate enough to go to Portugal. It's probably one of the most picturesque itineraries on the river. Definitely enjoying the wine. I never liked port until I got on a port, uh, Portugal river cruise. All of a sudden, port became something very, very important. So thank you for sharing all of that. I know you're going to absolutely love it. Uh, just to let everybody know, travel is starting. And Lisa, you, you mentioned how, you know, scarce in Portugal, and I think it's important. So just one question for you, 2020, do you have 2023 open for booking yet? We do, we absolutely do. It's a pre-release, so there's some fantastic prices that are out on 2023 as well. Uh, it just not all the same uh, offers right. that I mentioned, but there's still availability and um, strong price points for you as well. Because we don't want if anybody's you know really wants to do Portugal, we don't want them to be disappointed. So if 2022 yeah. doesn't work, we can plan into 2023. And I loved what you talked about the deposit protection plan and the future cruise credits. So that you know again, I think it's very important nowadays to not have any worry about your investment. So thanks for bringing those things up. We have all lost two years of vacation, so please make sure that you contact your Expedia Cruises consultant to let us know what we can help you. With, start dreaming about the future. We appreciate your time, your past travels with us. And if you um, have any questions at all, you can contact your Expedia Cruises consultant. Uh, our next present presenter will be Tom Steer coming up in a few minutes with Yachts of Seabourn. Uh, just before we go, there is one question, Lisa, are, are the ships and tours accessible for someone using a mobility scooter? Some of them are, it would be very difficult in Portugal just because of the terrain, cobblestone streets, it, it, it is a little bit more of a challenge. So I would suggest taking that offline with your Expedia consultant and we, I can get involved and find out specifics on the different itineraries you might be interested in. Okay. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Have a wonderful time on your trip. We're going to Thank take, uh, we're just going to have a little bit of a break for about two minutes um, if you need to refresh your coffee. But I think while we are waiting, maybe we'll have a little poll. Let's have a little bit of fun. So if, um, all right, here's one I think is interesting. When was your last trip out of Canada? 2021, 2020, 2019, 
or 2018 or earlier. We'll just wait a minute or two for those answers to come through. Looks like for most people, it was 2019. So we have all really definitely missed travel, missed getting together with family, with friends. And that's something I think you need to think about too, was when you're thinking about traveling, who do you want to travel with? Is it the family that you haven't been able to get together? Is it the friends that you haven't seen for a while? I think definitely enjoyment comes from traveling together. What are you looking most forward to seeing from your balcony? Is it glaciers, palm trees, cityscapes, or just water, water everywhere? And, oh, we've got cityscapes and water, water everywhere. I think we all wanna get out of Alberta and do something. So at least we can plan vicariously through some of these events. And then, oh, I love this one, because this one I had to answer honestly. If I were to try on my vacation clothes today, they were pretty roomy, they feel wonderful, they're a little snug, or damn COVID, and that's the uh, category that I fit into. I think chocolate and wine has been my savior through all of this. All right, I think we've got pretty well split between everybody. So good for you, those of you who haven't indulged with and had the COVID wait. So thank you again um, for joining us. Our next presenter is coming up in just one moment, Tom Steer from Yachts of Seabourn. So sit back, relax. We'll be starting in just one moment. All right, for those of you who stayed with us, thank you. For those of you who just joined us, welcome. You're in for a treat. We are on day two of our World Explorer virtual event. Uh, and today we are going to have Yachts of Seabourn as well as Holland America. We have the same host with us for both of these uh, events and that's gonna be Tom Steer, which I'll introduce in just a few moments. So just to let you know, we do have a chat feature on, the, uh, on your screen. So if you do have any questions, we have moderators standing by to answer the questions for you. If by some chance your question is not answered, please contact your Expedia Cruises consultant. So my name is Lisa Antflick. I'm one of the consultants at Expedia Cruises, and our annual event today is being hosted by our six Expedia Cruises locations in the Edmonton area, as well as our location in West Vancouver. It has been a long year and a half for many of us, and if you're on this call, I know you are one that loves to travel. You're missing it. I'm missing it. My passport is dusty. My carry-on bag, I don't even know where it is. It's become a laundry hamper for me. But the good news is that travel has begun. Cruising specifically has begun again in the past June, and we've had four months worth of sailings in Alaska, Caribbean, and Europe. River cruising has also started. And I have to say cruising is operating with, this, with the highest health protocols and by far cruising is the safest way to travel. At Expedia Cruises, we have had people come back. We've had our passengers come back as well as some of our consultants coming back saying how wonderful it was to get out and travel again. I will let you know, and you've probably you know, seen all the protocols and what do I have to do and how do I have to do this? And I just wanna kind of reiterate to you that it's important to use a travel uh, consultant more now than ever. And when you book with Expedia Cruises, what you'll receive from us is our expertise. We have the knowledge of hundreds and hundreds of different cruise lines and cruise ships. So we can tell you which is the best one for you. We have great pricing available, better pricing than you'll get with the uh, direct booking directly with the cruise lines, as well as Expedia extras, extra things such as onboard credits that you will not get if you book directly with the cruise line. Probably most important and what's on people's mind today is what do I need to travel? 
And it is a little bit more complex, but I will tell you, it seems a little daunting to begin with, but once you get all your ducks in a row and we'll make sure that we give you the proper information regarding passports, visas, entry requirements, COVID testing and vaccine protocols. A travel advisor is here to help you in an emergency. If a problem happens, we're a phone call away and we can take care of everything. Our name is Expedia Cruises, Air, Land and Sea Vacation. We can take care of your entire package, your air, your hotel, your pre, your post, whatever your dreams are, our Expedia travel advisors can help you fulfill them. We are committed to finding you the best value and we are local in your neighborhoods. So please remember to shop local. So uh, grab your coffee cup, sit back and enjoy the next presentation. Our second presenter today is Tom Steer, Business Development Manager for Seaborn. So welcome, Tom. Good morning, Lisa. How are you doing? I'm great, how are you? Very well, very well, thank you for having me. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so thank you for the wonderful introduction, Lisa. Uh, as Lisa mentioned, my name's Tom, and uh, I represent Seaborn across Western Canada. Some of you may have seen me before. If you've joined us for a Holland America presentation over the past year or so, um, you may recognize my face because I actually represent both brands, their sister lines, but I'm sure many of you aren't as aware of Seaborn and the world of Seaborn. So today, we are going to be dipping our toe into the world of ultra luxury with the yachts of Seaborn and talk all about small ship cruising and really give you a flavor and an idea of what, what Seaborn is all about. So there's my high school picture again. I think you've seen that before, but that's a wonderful uh, view uh, off of the, uh, the aft deck um, on a Seaborn vessel. But uh, before we begin, as always, I would like to just quickly touch on those health and safety protocols that are always developing and um, can change on a regular basis. They are accessible on the Seaborn website as we work with the WHO, the CDC, maritime authorities, the CLEAR organizations, uh, or CLEAR cruise lines um, uh, organization. We're in lockstep with all our, our fellow uh, cruise operators to make sure we are implementing all of the, the latest protocols and they can always be found on the Seaborn website uh, and also with your Expedia Cruises consultant. As we update these, many of these will apply to sailings in the next kind of six months or so. If you're looking at sailing further out, these protocols and, and procedures uh, will change. So uh, two ways to find that information, the website, but better still, always keep in touch with your Expedia Cruises consultant. They are up to date uh, minute by minute with this, uh, this information. So let's talk about the all-inclusive difference of Seaborn. So first off, I think it's very important to just give you an idea of what the Seaborn ships uh, look like physically. Um, how big are they? Um, what else do you need to know? Well, we consider ourselves the newest, most consistent uh, fleet in the ultra luxury market. And there aren't many cruise lines, other cruise lines in the ultra luxury market. What sets Seaborn apart is the fact the ships are very consistent in their size and also they're all very modern so when you kind of compare that to some of the other kind of luxury cruise lines you may see out there you may see ships in their fleets that are very small some much larger and there's this variation in size and age as well all of the seaborne ships were built within the last 10 years um, to give a consistent feel there's three identical sisters carrying um, around 450 guests and then two sisters that are ever so slightly different they have one extra deck portion and they carry 600 guests otherwise they are all uh, identical so let's take a quick look around the ship because I think this is very important um, first of all I'll, well let me preface this by saying I'm sure you all have an idea of what luxury um, is ultra luxury is what luxury means to you um, it's the word that is very subjective. So luxury can, can mean different things to different people. I'll tell you the type of luxury that you won't find on Seaborn. It isn't stuffy and stodgy and overly formal and snobby. It's not a kind of 
kind of hostile, keeping up with the Joneses type atmosphere when you step on board. It's not, um, it, it, it's, uh, it's very inclusive and welcoming. Uh, it's a much more of a kind of a home, away from home kind of country club feel, even though every fixture and fitting is of the uh, utmost quality and everything feels perfect. You don't feel afraid to just relax and unwind. It is a wonderful feeling. Now, like I say, much like a kind of country club atmosphere. Um, the staff on board come from the finest hotelier schools and the finest luxury hotels around the world. And we have practically a one for one guest to crew ratio, which is very important, which means when you're uh, sitting in the hot tub and somehow your glass of Montedon champagne is uh, empty, without you even realizing that glass has been topped up by one of our incredibly gracious and intuitive uh, staff members on board, you'll find seaborne moments like that around the, uh, around the vessel throughout the itinerary. The voyages, this is key, and I'll touch on this in, in just a moment, but they're actually built from the ground up. We use the word curated, and that's a nice word, but what does it actually mean? Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, Seaborn's actually a sister to Holland America Line. And as you know, Holland America have fabulous itineraries in Alaska, and some dude's going to come up in 30 minutes and tell you all about that. But um, Seaborn didn't just borrow those itineraries from those sister cruise lines that have been sailing in those parts of the world for many years, because Seaborn re-entered the world of Alaska cruising about three or four years ago. And instead of just using an itinerary that already existed and, and tweaking it, you know, based on a map, we actually had our entire deployment team and our, our deployment director spend many months um, as boots on the ground on uh, sailing in small vessels, charting a course based on their findings that is um, specific to the seaborne ships. And, and the size of ships. So we build these itineraries from, from the ground up and that becomes very apparent when you're on board and from hopefully when you see some of the itineraries that I'll share with you. We don't just do the same old, same old. We create them um, based on, based on um, our abilities and the kind of uh, aspects of cruising that we can deliver with these small ships. So the accommodations are very kind of, again, it's not, uh, it, it's not the kind of luxury that is too kind of formal and old school, traditional. It's also not too slick and modern. It's just right, understated, comfortable, home away from home. This is one of our owner's suites, a fabulous owner's suite. Um, uh, sorry, in fact, yes, this is one of our owner's suites, oh, all the way at the, uh, the, the forward portion of the ship there. And we serve complimentary uh, uh, fine wines and premium spirits and other beverages on board, whether that is around the ship or in your in-suite bar. Uh, that is stocked with your with your choice, with your selection. You can either arrange that pre-cruise with your Expedia Cruises consultant, or you can wait till you're on board. But they're served around the ship. That's very uh, nice to get used to. Um, whatever your tipple or preference may be, we are most likely able to source it. We cater for guests coming to us from all over the world. So try us. So let us know what your your uh, your favourites are, and uh, and we will surprise you. Um, and we have a, um, uh, a, a, a host program on board. We have two hosts for every room. And this is a wonderful service. It's not as formal as a butler um, kind of set up. Again, that kind of has connotations of very stiff and formal. It's, it's, it, it's a wonderful, um, a kind of a wonderful service, less intrusive. And our host will do things like pour your welcome champagne, um, draw a bar with rose petals, come come stateroom to stateroom with those uh, selections of soaps, depending on which kind of soap you're in the mood for that, that particular day. Um, it's, so it's an incredible service and tipping is neither required nor expected. That's very easy to get used to. And now we include Wi-Fi. Up until recently, Wi-Fi was included in our promotions. Now it's standard. So everyone at least gets the surf Wi-Fi package. If you're in certain categories, the stream Wi-Fi, uh, and you can upgrade to that as well. So that is wonderful. Here's a quick shot of our wonderful resorts at sea. We always say, the, the, our, our ships are um, the, uh, the, some of the finest ultra luxury resorts in the world. They just happen to be at sea. We have a dining partnership with Thomas Keller. He has his own restaurants on board our ships. It's not just a regular old cruise ship um, partnership with a celebrity chef. For those of you who don't know Thomas Keller, he has a number of restaurants, two in particular he's known for 
uh, French Laundry in California and Per Se in New York. French Laundry has been named as the best restaurant in the world many times. The late, great Anthony Bourdain said it's the, it was the best restaurant or it is the best restaurant in the world, period. That's his quote. And there's a, as a four month waiting list, it's around a $400 uh, charge per head to dine there before wine is poured on board. Everyone gets to gets to dine in, in this Thomas Keller restaurant. Everyone gets at least one reservation. It's all part of the cruise. You don't have to pay. You don't have to wait four months. So it's an incredible value. If you've heard of Thomas Keller and you want to try some Thomas Keller um, um, or experience Thomas Keller uh, dining, he has his Thomas Keller grill on board all of our ships. And we have some other incredible dining options around the ship. Everything on board a Seaborne ship is cooked a la minute. Essentially, that means each meal is individually prepared. It's not a galley kind of conveyor belt affair where the, where the chefs are preparing batches or dozens of meals at a time, everything. And that is reflected as soon as you experience that food on board. We have uh, our fresco options on board, which are um, great if you're in the Mediterranean or the Caribbean with those sunsets. Also fantastic if you're in Antarctica or perhaps even uh, Alaska under the heat lamps with blankets. It's, it's an, an incredible affair. We have a, a spa program with Dr. Andrew Weil. Many of you may remember him all the way back, dating back to the 90s. He is one of the godfathers of the mindful and holistic living movement. And he has fantastic programs that uh, we run in our spa. Uh, Sir Tim Rice of Broadway and West End show uh, fame. He penned all those, uh, those, those hit, hit numbers from you know, Evita, Lion King. I'm sure you know, know the name. He has his own show for us on board. Uh, he's not there in person always, but he does sail, sail with us uh, quite often. This is another cool Seaborn feature. We have a marina day where we actually drop the, um, the, uh, the, 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 the um, water sports deck, the, uh, the marina off of the, uh, the, the aft of the vessel, and we deploy the pedalos, the kayaks. Everyone has, has a beautiful day um you know enjoying those crystal clear waters whether in the caribbean or even in the mediterranean in this kind of private moment we create a luxury bubble so you don't have to go ashore work with a third party operator to get out there and have this kind of fun we do it straight from the vessel we also have caviar in the surf where when we are in a small again, again like a small cove or bay in the mediterranean or in the caribbean we'll set up a whole beach barbecue then we have caviar come out, we load down um, a surfboard with caviar. It comes out on a jet ski from the ship. We load down the, um, the uh, surfboard and put buckets of ice, champagne, caviar, and everyone comes out paddling out into the water and has champagne and caviar in the most idyllic setting. That's one of our seaborne moments. Again, because we can deploy a small craft from our vessels, we have something called uh, seaborne ventures. This is uh, not just uh, about relaxing in a beautiful warm weather environment. This is about exploring and getting up close and personal in some incredible parts of the world that in many cases only ships like Seaborns can access. So we deploy Zodiacs and kayaks, groups of 12 or so on a, on a Zodiac, uh, groups of 12 um, with, uh, with, the, with the kayak groups. And each one is led by one of our ventures team. On board they're the same folks who are giving those seminars on board you're dining with you're you know having social time with on board incredible you know experts many of them doctors engineers um marine biologists oceanographers in their own right so incredible experts are taking you up close and personal they're taking you personally um out there um with the ventures program so these are paid shore excursions by the way full transparency these aren't included they run around 250 per person but our guests love these. They're an incredible way to, as I say, explore coastlines, get a view and a perspective that you just simply wouldn't get any other way. And you're not, remember, you're not going ashore, being picked up by a bus to go to get on a, a Zodiac. It's going straight from the ship with the folks you are um, sailing with, who you trust, who you, uh, you know, the, those folks whose company you enjoy day after day on board, they're with you um, every step of the way. Um, a quick look at the itineraries. We've just got a couple of minutes before I wrap up here, but I do want to take um, a quick peek at some of these itineraries because, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, Seaborn's itineraries are built from the ground up. They're curated, and when I uh, see a new new uh, cruisers come to Seaborn uh, and I get to meet them in person or speak with them, I often ask them, "So, how did you find out about Seaborn? 
what drew you to Seaborn? And it isn't necessarily the caviar or the champagne or those rose petals in the bathtub. You know, those aren't the things that, that, that triggers that initial step to cruise Seaborn. They enjoy those things and they love those things. But what does it is when they get that first peek at a map and they first see the Seaborn itineraries? Because we'll go to parts of the world um, that, that uh, other cruise lines visit too, but we get off the beaten track. So we're visiting ports that even sometimes the most seasoned travelers um, are unaware of. We will be the other side of an island or we will be in a lesser known cove or bay. We'll also visit the, uh, these are some examples of the Mediterranean, just to give you an idea of what I, what I mean by this. Even in places like, uh, um, well, here's an example where we will have those lesser known gems and then we'll still visit the marquee ports. So when I mean marquee, I mean the big name ports. There are certain ports you still, where if you're traveling to certain parts of the world, you still want to get to that port for and, and that city because you know it's whether you've been there before, there's so much more still to explore or, or you just got to check it off your bucket list. We will still visit those places, but we'll do it differently. For example, up in Northern Europe, when we go to St. Petersburg, instead of docking out in the container port where most cruise, cruise lines have to dock, and then you get a bus 45 minutes into St. Petersburg, we dock down the Neva River, literally, I'm not exaggerating here, footsteps from the Hermitage, literally footsteps across to the Hermitage. The same in the Mediterranean. Um, and another example will be Portofino. Portofino, that beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, bay in the Mediterranean, the colors, the sights, the sounds, if you've been to the Mediterranean before and you visited Portofino, you would have had to get a bus, uh, sorry, a, a ferry across from Santa Margarita, about a 30 minute ferry. We actually dock, we actually slip right in because we're a luxury yacht. After all, we slip right in with those other yachts in, in Portofino itself. So that gives you an idea um, of, you know, how Seaborn approaches these parts of the world. We wind the clock back, make you feel you're cruising in an era, you know, time gone by. Uh, that's apparent in the Caribbean as well. We'll, we'll visit ports that, again, many folks haven't uh, or are unaware of or haven't heard of before. And it makes you feel like you're cruising back in, you know, the golden era of the 60s, 70s, you know, before mass market cruising became a thing. If you were lucky enough to be on a ship and go to the Caribbean, there wasn't another soul there. Every island felt like your own. That's what we try to deliver. Um, and I mentioned Alaska. I do just want to touch on it because it's Alaska and British Columbia. And many of you have done Alaska cruises and you may not necessarily be thinking of Alaska uh, when it comes to a luxury, ultra luxury experience. Because of the size of the seaborne vessels and because of the Ventures program, it is a very different um, uh, way to cruise Alaska because we'll be in narrow waterways and channels way off the beaten track um, for a very in-depth exploration, deploying the Zodiacs and the kayaks um, uh, throughout the entire itinerary. That's why it's called Alaska and British Columbia rather than just Alaska. So that we, we, we deploy those zodiacs and kayaks. Um, as I say, that is, a, that is something that our guests enjoy and now come back time and time again for. Even if it wasn't something they'd initially expected they would enjoy, it, uh, once they try, uh, they become fans. This is a quick holiday snap from me when I was uh, on the Seaborn Sojourn there, the Inean Islands in Cross Sound um, on that Alaska itinerary. Just to give you an example of how it looks, this is just me with our small group of kayakers. There's a stellar sea lion popping up um, right up there in the middle. And the great thing about this is knowing that we came straight from the ship, directly from the ship, but further out beyond are those ships sailing out there in the Gulf. We're having this incredible exploration, something few people can say they've had. Um, and so they're the type of short excursions we have. And just to wrap up, because we've got a couple of minutes, and I, I know the next guy isn't going to be too bothered if I uh, take an extra minute or so. Um, uh, that is, we, we're actually expanding our fleet in the direction of um, expeditions. So we've got our classic five seaborne vessels. We are going to be moving into expedition. We're, we, we're not changing anything with the classic seaborne experience, but we now have two dedicated expedition vessels on the way. They've got ice strength and hulls. They have two custom built submarines. They can hold their position on a dime um, without dropping anchor. They can go, they can go off grid for 21 days um, without, without having to take on food, water supplies, offload waste, completely autonomous. They have uh, just incredible technology 
an open bridge where you can walk onto the bridge and spend time uh, whenever you choose with the uh, nautical staff and captain on board, which is incredible for cruisers to be able to do that. A bow sprit where you can walk over the bow and look all the way back around the ship. An infinity pool that looks off the aft of the ship. Those two submarines, six, six, six persons in each, they'll go 300 meters down. That's not 300 feet, 300 meters. So basically a thousand feet. And there is a champagne chiller in those submarines. Just incredible technology. And this here's a super quick snippet of what that in that, that season looks like. Her first, um, this is the Seaborne Venture, the first of these two ships. She'll be sailing next summer, staying um, all the way up um, in the North Cape, north of the Arctic Circle. Uh, and so this is, this is great for the Northern Lights. This is uh, the start of the season, then over to the Canadian Arctic, Greenland, down into the Amazon. When we cruise the Amazon, it's Manaus to Iquitos. We start in Manaus, where most other cruise lines end. That's where we start, and we go a thousand miles uh, west into the flooded forest and the tributaries. And again, we're deploying all those Zodiacs, kayaks. We have the submarines, just a true incredible experience. And here's a quick, quick run through some of the shots. She's got that kind of classic uh, expedition kind of ski lodge feel. That's the Discovery Center. It's like, a, it's like everyone's having the same experience at the same time. There's a great community and camaraderie when it's an expedition because the numbers are fewer, only 132 rooms on board. So basically 260 guests makes for a very uh, social experience and just a wonderful way to, to reach parts of the world that you, you typically associate with more of a rough and ready approach to expedition. This is luxury, ultra luxury, no corners cut and full expedition, no concessions there either. So that's it from me. I'm just gonna wrap up now and finish off by mentioning the offer we have for you today, if I can get to my slide as I whiz through these last ones. And uh, that is, when you work with Expedia Cruises and Seaborn, you will get a fabulous deal this month. Expedia Cruises are the experts in luxury cruising. Uh, they are experts in Seaborn. They have access to incredible deals. For example, this month alone, they have deals year round with Seaborn. Um, you'll get better deals with Seaborn, with Expedia Cruises than you would coming to us directly. But this month, October 31st, you can receive, depending on the sailing you select, the type of room you're in, up to $2,600 of shipboard credit for your suite. That's based on the length. There's a few factors there. So speak with your Expedia Cruiser consultant. They'll let you know how much shipboard credit you could receive. So that's it for me. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'll be happy to answer. If we don't have time for them today, reach out to your Expedia Cruises consultant and they'll reach out to me and, and take care of you. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, Tom. Now you can take a little bit of a breather. We're going to get you back here in just a couple of minutes. But, you know, just absolutely fascinating, the expedition uh, product that you were talking about. And what I loved is when you were talking about sailing in different places and being able to get into small ports that larger ships cannot. And that really makes a difference. And I think with all of us missing out on travel for so much, we need to make up for something. And I think it's so important to treat ourselves treat ourselves to a ship of 450 passengers you know i mean you may love the 3000 4000 passenger ships but maybe there's a voyage that you may want to do that has no lineups caviar in the surf and just being pampered because i think we all have gone through enough in the last 19 months so we need to to feel a little bit more special so thank you so much for that all right, I'm just going to check. It doesn't look like we have any questions in the chat box. So maybe we've got a moment or two for another poll. Here's a good one. Find out how experienced you are. How many cruises have you sailed on? Zero to two, three to five, six to nine, 10 plus or 20 plus. Oh, looks like we've got a pretty experienced gang on board. All right. And most of you have done 20 plus, 60%. All right. That is absolutely fabulous. Any, uh, can, we do, can we do one more? All right. What do you want to travel? Sorry. Who do you want to travel with on your next trip? By myself, with my partner? And as I talked about earlier, the pleasure of being able to join family and friends and having them share your memories with you. 
And it looks like most people, well, I think that's awesome considering most of us have been a little bit isolated. How wonderful that we still wanna get away with our partners. So thank you for joining us. Travel is starting again. So please make sure you reach out to your Expedia Cruises agents. Um, there are some wonderful specials we're having during our World Explorer events. We have lost a couple of years of travel, so we've got much to look forward to and make up for. So we appreciate your time with us. We appreciate your tra past travels. Uh, also remember to follow us on Facebook and remember to check out each location's YouTube channels where all our video presentations are posted. Hey, just one more thing before we get Tom started, I just want to kind of throw out to all of you in terms of planning ahead, we are seeing 2023 and 2024 open. And what I often encourage people to do is have a five year plan. And let us know, let your consultant know where you want to go. Um, you may have your, your top three or four destinations because there is seasons to cruising. And once we know what your bucket list or to-do list entails, what we can do is let you know when the new itineraries are coming out so you can jump on them very, very quickly. All right, so it looks like we are at the top of the hour. We're going to start again. And Tom has changed hats going from scenic uh, luxury cruising over to Alaska. So welcome again for those of you who just joined us or for those of you who have been on. Uh, my name is Lisa Antflick. I'm one of the consultants at Expedia Cruises. And we're so excited to have our annual World Explorer event. And we have promotions with many of the different cruise lines and land suppliers going for the full month of October. And we have our presentation presentations from some of our preferred suppliers today as well as tomorrow. It's been a long time since we've traveled and I think you guys have missed it as much as I have. Uh, just to let you know, cruising is probably the safest way to travel. The health protocols, the fact that all staff are vaccinated on board, um, it just makes it a wonderful, as Tom was talking earlier in the Seaborne presentation about having this bubble. So cruise lines are following the highest protocols. We have cruise ships back in the waters now, so things are ready to go. If you are feeling comfortable to travel, that is great. We're happy to help you. If you are not quite feeling comfortable yet, it is the time to plan ahead and we can plan all the way into 2024 with some of the cruise lines. So just want to point out to you more and more why you need to book with a travel agent. Uh, we spent the first few months when lockdown started is bringing our clients back, people who are stuck over uh, abroad. And we spent hours and hours trying to reaccommodate them, get them home, work helping them get their refunds, their future travel credits. So it is really important not to do things on your own. There's lots of things we can do on our own, but why not book with a travel advisor? What you'll get when you work with an Expedia travel advisor is expertise. There are hundreds of different cruise ships and lines, and we can find the best cruise for you because it is not a one size fits all. You will never pay any less booking directly with the cruise line. And many times we have better pricing as well as on many of our blocked space room, state rooms and sailings, we can give you extra such as shipboard credits that booking directly with the cruise line you will not receive. Information regarding passports, visa, entry requirements, COVID testing and vaccine protocols. All of this is changing and it's hard to keep up to date, but our staff at Expedia Cruises has the utmost information and will know what you need for your specific travels. We are here to assist you in any emergencies or if there are any problems and how wonderful to be able to have one person plan everything. We are Expedia Cruises Air Land and Sea Vacation. So we can take care of your air, we can take care of your transfers, your hotel packages, your activities, your travel insurance, everything can be taken care of by one person. And best of all, we are in your neighborhood so you can shop, sorry, shop local. So without further ado, we're gonna switch hats and we're gonna go over to Alaska and welcome back, Tom. Thank you very much, Lisa. Hello again, it's deja vu all over again. How are you doing? 
Um, I'm so uh, glad to be back. It's been a while. Um, for those of you who have just joined, um, I, I was on um, uh, just a few minutes ago. So um, uh, I'm going to be now covering Holland America. I was talking about Seaborn uh, before. Uh, as I mentioned, I do wear two hats. And uh, this is my bigger hat because Holland America is the big sister to Seaborn. So this is my big hat that I'm wearing now. Um, and we're gonna talk all about Alaska and a few other bits and pieces uh, to round off the morning. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and move into um, some Alaska and Holland America information. But before we do so, as I just did with Seaborn and as some of you, have, you may have heard me uh, before, I'm going to just give you a quick update on the status of our return to sale protocols because believe it or not, by the end of this year, we will have six, six ships sailing, um, which is incredible. If you consider where we started, you know, 18 months ago, um, it's, it's just so exciting to have the uh, half, the, almost half the fleet back. And then by the end of spring, we'll have the entire fleet sailing. So as we ramp up and we roll out our return to service, we are implementing our travel well protocols and we're working with the cdc the who ports maritime authorities nations the world world leading cruise lines association to be in lockstep to make sure we are implementing the latest protocols um, because our guest and crew safety is and our environmental commitment uh, to they are the three uh, most important uh, factors in everything we do so you can always find information on what we're doing when it comes to our uh, health and safety guidelines. It's on the Holland America website, but a better place to get this is to reach out to your Expedia Cruises consultant because it does get updated. Currently, the protocols we share really only apply to sailing to the next four months, but you, you, uh, you may see them change even during the course of those four months as we make updates. But if you're sailing, uh, planning to sail a year from now, you can take these with a slight grain of salt to... Uh, you know, just know that there will be changes along the way. But this gives you a great idea so you know exactly what we're doing now. And if you are planning on sailing very soon and you are ready to get out there, I know many of you are starting to plan to sail in the spring, to sail even before the end of the year. We've got great assurances where if you had to cancel up to 30 days, you get a future cruise credit. Or if your trip was interrupted or even just shortly before you plan to sail due to some COVID complications, there's also a coverage and assurances for you. So um for more information on that reach out to your Expedia cruises consultant so let's talk about uh holland america in alaska now hopefully some of you joined for our uh holland america session last week where we talked all about holland america exotic sailings going to the far reaches of the earth because we have a global uh footprint we're going to bring it back uh closer to home to alaska today and uh, I know many of you online have cruised with Holland America before, some in Alaska, some of you haven't cruised, some of you may have, may have once or twice, but there have been many changes. So I'm going to, uh, or not changes, we're still true to our roots, I should say, but some new initiatives, new programs. So I'm going to, again, if you, you were with us last week, you may have heard these, but I'm going to touch on some of the aspects that makes Holland America, Holland America, um, just for those of you who are, who are new with us today. Um, we are uh, a global cl cruise line in terms of our reach and deployment. Our ships are uncrowded. Um, we have larger staterooms on average, 25% larger than other premium cruise lines. We don't have water slides and go-karts. Sorry if you're planning to get on board a Holland America ship and whiz around in a go-kart. We aren't going to be able to offer that. There are other lines that do which are fantastic. We find there's a lot of folks who are coming from those type of cruise lines and kind of been there, done that, looking for more space um, in their in their stateroom, public areas that are more spacious without the crowds. Um, that's one of the reasons folks find us. So I'm gonna just highlight a few of those aspects of the, the, uh, the Holland America experience. The size is very important. You saw at the beginning, I mentioned perfectly sized. You may sometimes think of Holland America as mid-sized. We're not mid-sized officially anymore because mid-size means something much bigger. A lot of cruise lines that are mid-size now have maybe a thousand more guests on board their ships than, than we do. So that's why we say perfectly sized. We're kind of out there on our own. We're not a teeny tiny ship, but you know we can fit two and a half times over into those mega ships that you see out there. And that's considering our largest vessels in our fleet. 
Um, it's the look and the feel of a Honda America line ship, that kind of classic with a modern twist, the, the dark blue holes, the nautical lines, the wraparound teak decks, the open deck space. There's something that just looks right about Honda America ship. It's the feel um, that appeals to so many cruisers. We appeal to cruisers that are coming from all corners of the cruising world. Uh, there's something for everyone on board a Honda America line ship. Um, it's one of those cruise lines where if you were to just do a, a survey or a poll of all cruisers on all lines and find out kind of the commonality, a line that they've all experienced and they all have a soft, soft spot for, you would usually find Holland America in there because it appeals to so many types of travelers for so many different reasons. Um, when I mentioned explorers, the, or you saw the word explorers at the beginning, what we mean by this is we have a depth and breadth that other cruise lines don't have. I mentioned this the other day, but it is key because um, it means in the Mediterranean, for example, or in South America or Asia, we have not just a number of sailings, but a, a large number of sailings that give a lot of variety. So you can not only find lots of dates for one particular itinerary, but you'll find lots of different itineraries. That, that ability to, to, to have the variety and, and so many options when it comes to sail dates, that isn't, that, isn't uh, that common in the industry. So a great way for you to Keep coming back, discover something new every time. And we've been doing it a long time. Next year, we've got a really big birthday, 150 years. So this isn't our first rodeo. You know, it's our 150th rodeo next year. So we're pretty good at this. Um, foodies, we've been a cruise line for foodies uh, for years. We've got the classic dining room experience with different menus every day. We've got alternate options. We don't force you into having to eat in an alternate dining room every day because the, the main dining room is the same every day. We've got the perfect balance, that, that, that classic experience if you want it, open or fixed seating with those specialty um, uh, venues as well. And then music is a big part of what we do. It's gonna be a real fun um, summer in Alaska because I'm gonna mention in just a moment, a ship that we've got coming to Alaska next summer has all four, the first time we've had all four of our music walk venues on a ship in Alaska. Um, essentially Music Walk is something we did a few years ago. We decided to completely rip up the page um, uh, for, for music on cruise ships and start again. And we decided instead of having lounge hopping musicians to have dedicated professional musicians in each of, the, in each of these purpose-built venues, BB King's Blues Club, that, this is the BB King's All-Star Band. They're an eight to 10 piece, piece band incredible band that get the crowd on their feet um and when you might think bb kings well you know you associate bb king with kind of motown you know era maybe kind of going back into kind of rock and roll era if you're not aware bb kings bb kings blues club itself is an incredibly popular spot with with pop stars today i'm not sure if you saw that viral clip of, of um uh justin timberlake um jumping up on stage and just jamming live in BB King's Blues Club. That was about a year or so ago. It attracts all those, uh, all those kind of um, top musicians. It's kind of a rite of passage for many, for many musicians to go there and jam there. That's where our musicians come from, BB King's Blues Club. They are keeping the crowd on their feet every night, whether it's Chuck Berry, Bruno Mars, Beyonce, hits of today, something for every generation. Billboard on board is dueling pianos. This is not just a tiny piano bar. Twice the, twice the fun, twice the laughs, twice the sing-along show tunes, you know, everything from Queen to ABBA to, you know, hits of today, the latest, you know, Billboard hit, whatever it is, something for everyone. Lincoln Center Stage, there are classics, a classical ensemble, classical fusion, um, one of my favorites. I'm not a classical expert, but I just love to start my evenings by visiting Lincoln Center Stage. And then we've got um, Rolling Stone Rock Room on our Konings Dam that's coming to Alaska. Um, and our ships are back in service now, which means our crew, our fabulous crew, after months and months and months and months sitting and waiting, sitting and waiting, they're back on board. I'm seeing the videos. They are over the moon, the smiles on their faces. For those of you who cruise Holland America, you know that they are the backbone of everything we, we do. They're the ones that uh, uh, ensure that we win awards for service year in and year out, winning hearts and minds, uh, putting smiles on everyone's face. And so they are back out there on board ship, which is awesome. So they're getting back to what they do best uh, on the damn fleet. And that is 11 ships in the damn fleet. So we're going to talk about Alaska and I'm going to talk about a type of ship called the Pinnacle class. This is uh, um, a ship, uh, a type of class of ship where we have a new sister joining. I must mention this because it's big news. 
because we have, what day is it today? The fifth, the sixth, sorry, I, I, I've drawn a blank. But anyway, that means we've got about 14 days before this vessel, the Rotterdam, sets, on a, sets sail on her first ever sailing. This is pretty important because she becomes our flagship. She is the 85th ship to sail uh, under the Holland America Line flag. She is the seventh ship named Rotterdam and she joins the fleet in 14 days officially. So we're super excited and she'll be sailing in Europe. So if you are looking, and we're not going to talk about Europe at all today, but if you are interested in that, you want to sail with her in Europe next year, she's in the Caribbean this winter, Europe next summer, reach out to your Expedia Cruises um, uh, team. They will let you know all about her sailings. She is the third of our Pinnacle class ships. She's sailing all over Northern Europe doing some kind of a rock star tour. So anyway, she's a she's a, a pinnacle class ship, one of the three pinnacle class ships. They are less than 100,000 tons. They only have 2,600 guests. There are other cruise lines that will put an extra 400 on board, five, 600 on board that size of ship. We don't do that. Anyway, the pinnacle class ships are gorgeous Holland America ships through and through. I've met uh, mariners on, a, on several occasions at shows, you know, this is pre us having to go into this virtual world, meet them in kind of physical events. And, um, you know, I've spoken to them about these new Pinnacle class ships and I've asked them what they think, considering they've been sailing with us for 10, 20, 30 years in some cases. And I remember the first time I, I asked one of our mariners about uh, these Pinnacle class ships, it was the Koningsdam, in fact. I said, so, you know, having sailed on all the other ships, what do you think? because they're our mariners. They've sailed for hundreds of days with us. And this is the response I've had every time. And I remember the very first time I asked this question, the answer I got was, I loved her. I'm booked on her another four times and booked on her sisters in Norval, the new Staten Dam. So we know that we've got new folks finding Holland America because of these gorgeous new pinnacle class ships. And we've got our mariners who love Holland America welcoming them, welcoming them into the fleet with open arms. So there she is, she's sailing um, as of uh, in two weeks time. So let's look at Alaska. We are Alaska. We've been going there since, um, uh, well, for over 70 years since before Alaska was even a state that's just on land. We win awards year in, year out. We are known as the tried and trusted uh, uh, um, operator that delivers iconic and authentic Alaskan experiences. Um, it's no accident. You know, this is something that we take very seriously. That's why we get those ratings. It's the programming on board ship. It's the, the itineraries themselves. Um, it's the fact we have such a large fleet dedicated to the region, sailing out of Vancouver and Seattle. And when it comes to the land portions, we have access to the Yukon, which many cruise lines do not. Um, we have twice the amount of permits than any other cruise line. What does that mean for you? Permits isn't a very cool word to talk about. Hey, we've got permits. What that means is, it means we can spend, well, not just twice the amount of time, more time, we can visit the Glacier Bay more often and we can spend more time than other cruise lines. So that means we'll give you a full day in Glacier Bay with multiple glacier viewing opportunities, opportunities to see brown bears and, and other wildlife um, throughout the whole day narrated by park rangers. Now compare that to other cruise lines that don't have the same permitting, they can only spend maybe an hour or two at one glacier, at the Marjorie Glacier, then back out into the Gulf. Now, if you think of that in terms of value, you're spending a certain dollar amount per day to be on board a ship when you break it down. You're spending a certain dollar amount per hour to be on board a ship. So time is money. Uh, and we understand that. We want to give you the best value for, you know, best bang for your buck. Um, so if your ship is just out there for the rest of the day, bobbing around in the Gulf of Alaska, that's not value. If they spent only two hours at Glacier Bay, then you're out in uh, the, the, the Gulf again, that's not value. We spend the full day in Glacier Bay. So more experience to immerse yourself in Alaska. And we open the bow, we have those open deck spaces. You don't have to climb over a crane or peer, peer around a go-kart track or a roller coaster. Open deck spaces with our uh, or, you know, our Dutch, our classic Dutch pea soup, if you want to try our, our hot chocolate, you know, our blankets, um, or you can take um, a, one of our cabanas, which is also in Glacier Bay as well. But we have this open deck space that you don't typically find on uh, the, uh, the average cruise line sailing to Alaska. That is something to, uh, 
uh, to, to, to remember when you're deciding who to cruise to Alaska with. What's it going to be like when you're in Glacier Bay? Is it going to be a free for all trying to squeeze your head over a railing or hold a spot? It's not that way at all with Holland America. So the big news is, and some of you may be aware of this, and that's why our little friend here is getting excited and giving us a big round of applause. The big news is one of those pinnacle class ships that I mentioned earlier is coming to Alaska. You may have heard me mention this before, the Koningsdam, the Rotterdam sister, one of these pinnacle class ships, she debuts in Vancouver. She becomes our Saturday ship. She sails under the Lionsgate Bridge. She's not one of those mega ships that has to wait for a low tide to come in once or twice a year. She's a Saturday ship in and out, sailing up to Alaska with that Glacier Bay um, uh, aspect. Also, when we sail, when we visit Juneau, we're docked downtown in berths one and two. Every weekend departure, guaranteed, we're berths one and two. Weekday departures, 95% of the time too, we're docked downtown, first two, first two ports. Koningsdam's our Saturday ship, so she's there every time, berths one and two. That means you can literally step off the ship, walk into the town of Juneau. The square is right there. Your steps into town, everything. The Mount Roberts tramway, the, the, uh, the cafes, the shopping, the bars, you know, Red Dog Saloon, all, all there. Um, if you're on another cruise line that's docked in berth three or four, that's a 20 minute walk or a taxi, or worse still, some cruise lines dock all the way out at the container port. So you have to take a 20 minute shuttle uh, into town, uh, which which takes up that time in your day. It's not not a, not a very nice experience. So it's super convenient when you're cruising with Holland America to Alaska. And pound for pound, she is the most gorgeous ship you will find sailing out of Vancouver to Alaska this coming summer. She is absolutely stunning. Um, those beautiful open spaces. It has that classic feel, that classic Holland feel. The technology on board is mind blowing. We have. Um, for our, our main showroom, we have uh, what we call the world stage. It's a 180 degree um, uh, amphitheater style stage with this incredible LED screen technology, a really cool feature. The best lounge you'll find, shoot, um, show lounge you'll find uh, out of Vancouver. There are other features that you might not even know about because there's so many other things that kind of take, take the top spot in terms of the headlines for these ships. We have a new feature you might not have experienced before, our notes scotch tasting, which uh, is incredible. If you know, if you know your single malts, um, you can have a, a very uh, um, fine evening at notes. And this is right in kind of the middle of all the fun, all the action. Just across the way, over your right shoulder, would be the um, uh, billboard on board, dueling pianos over your left shoulder, Rolling Stone rock room. So if one's playing, the other one. It takes a break. And then when that one, that, that show's finished, then we move on to the next set for Billboard on board. So you've got great musical entertainment throughout your time, you know, spent at notes. Um, if you if you know your wine, if you're a wine lover, you will be uh, very excited uh, to see the Pinnacle Grill wine cellar on board. The, the Pinnacle Grill wine, the Pin, Pinnacle Grill, sorry, is our chop house. The Pinnacle Grill uh, wine cellar is the most expansive on the pinnacle class ships so it's very exciting to explore if you if you enjoy your wines if you're a cork dork as they say um, uh, I know many of our and many of our mariners are and are very excited to explore this uh, th this feature then we have a new a new restaurant on board this this vessel uh, and this style of ship that is not on uh, that you would not have found sorry on board other uh, Holland America ships if you'd sailed out of Vancouver to Alaska because we hadn't had a pinnacle class ship there before and that is Sel de Mer, Rue de Sel de Mer, our seafood brasserie and that's a shot of the Lido market. I always like to show this because you might think what well, the Lido buffet what's great about that they're all the same that's that's kind of cruise, cruise ship standard it really isn't it really isn't with Holland America it's much more relaxed the tables are dressed with cloth napkins silverware glassware um, for breakfast lunch and dinner it isn't hurried. You've got all, all those food stations. We don't have self-service. Other cruise lines that are scrambling to eliminate their self-service buffets to return to service. We didn't have to do that. We haven't had a self-service buffet for about 15 years. It just works perfectly. It's still casual, but without the, the, the chaos and the, the craziness. Um, and you find all of those lounges on board Koningsdam sailing out of Alaska. She has the Rolling Stone Rock Room. I know 
in in uh, northern Alberta, you love your classic rock. I know I certainly do. So that's what you'll find in the Rolling Stone Rock Room. This is a this is a band that is being uh, on, uh, assembled by Rolling Stone magazine. They're playing that classic 60s, 70s rock. You know, you know the type, the Eagles, uh, Fleetwood Mac. You get the idea, classic pub rock. And they are another band that complements this whole music setup. So this is what you'll find on the Koning Stand, the Grand Dutch Cafe, a, a beautiful uh, kind of classic Dutch coffee shop. This is our second coffee shop on board for Dutch crepes teas, pastries, served on Royal Delft earthenware, Dutch lagers, a beautiful spot. Um, the dining room is always open and, and fresh and spacious, lots of space, you know, high ceilings. You're not cr cramped into a small dining, main dining room that you'll find on some, some small ships, uh, much more spacious. So that's Alaska, lots, of, lots to look forward to. It's a great time to, if you are thinking about cruising next, next summer with friends or family, hopping over to Vancouver to get on a ship, it's a great time to do it this month because we have a, we have a super deal on Alaska right now. I'll touch on that in just a second. But just to close, um, there are other Alaska sailings that are longer. If you're looking to explore Alaska in more detail, up into Anchorage itself, there are two dates. Look out for these. Speak with the Expedia Cruises team. And out of the West Coast in general, you'll find deep explorations to the South Pacific. This is now also going to be on the Koning Stand for 2023, which is going to be super exciting. So that date you see on the right there, that has changed from Zyder Dam to Koning Stand. So great opportunities out of the West Coast. You can explore, or, or sorry, you can enjoy that Koning Stand ship, but, but just take it out to Hawaii instead of Alaska um, every spring and fall. That's something that is super convenient. Again, just a hop, skip and a jump, get over to Vancouver, and you're on a, on a fabulous new Pinnacle class ship sailing out to Hawaii. You can even sail over to Japan or fly over to Japan and return um, in and out of the West Coast. These are all options that we have because we have so many ships in Alaska in, Pacific, in the Pacific Northwest waters in the winter and the spring and the fall. We're moving them back and forth. So great options there. And of course, the Panama Canal. Everyone loves the Panama Canal. The flora, the fauna, just sailing through those locks, just such an incredible experience. The ancient history, the ecology. We have sailings in the spring and the fall for the next four seasons ready to book. So if you're thinking about doing something longer, convenient, you want a bit of sunshine, variety, the food, the, you know, the shore excursions, there's just so much with the Panama Canal. And then of course, Mexico, if you want to just be on the Konings Dam, but you want sunshine, um, her winter home is out of San Diego to Mexico. So in closing, wrapping up here, as I close out the morning, um, I do want to mention a great uh, option for you when it comes to booking through Expedia Cruises, um, they can access something for you called Have It All. That means you can, of course, just book a regular cruise fare without any extras. But if you want to have uh, short excursion credits included, a beverage package, extra dining, um, uh, specialty dining options included, and Wi-Fi included, they can add the Have It All package, which essentially is 50% uh, you pay 50% of what it would cost you to purchase these yourself on board. So you get these items uh, at a 50% uh, cost, and that is added to uh, your fare. So it's called Have It All. So speak with your Expedia Cruise, Cruise Consultant about Have It All. There's some other great deals as well. Just for October, running through to the end of the month, um, you can book a cruise and receive uh, up to $150 shipboard credit. It, it, it based on the it's based on the length of itinerary and the type of room you select, but there's extra shipboard credits that combine with that have it all packaging. And I, I, I mentioned there was also something special for Alaska. And that is if you book uh, an Alaska cruise um, by the end of October, there's an extra credit for short excursions. You get an additional $100 of short excursion credits on top of have it all. So you're going to be able to do an extra short excursion on top of the ones we were already giving you the credit for as well. That combines with have it all. So you book have it all and then you get that double amount of short excursion credits. Um, but most importantly, you're going to get the benefit of working through Expedia Cruises. This cannot be understated. As Lisa mentioned previously, they have access to benefits and amenities from not just Holland America, but from all of uh, the, 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 the cruise suppliers they work with that they pass on to you. You're gonna get a better deal working through them than you would working with us directly every time. Uh, that will include 
uh, typically extras, in some cases lower rates, they pass that on to you. So you're going to get a great deal. And working with them not only means deals, it not only means their expertise, but also uh, they are a, a, a real person in your community um, that you're working with. So that's something to feel good about. They are a phone call or an email away. They've got your back. Doesn't matter if you're already traveling and you need some assistance or you're at home and you need extra help planning, you're not calling a call center you know, the other side of the country or further afield, it's someone local to you who you know and you have a relationship with. So that's the most important thing. So if you are interested in Alaska, reach out to them and uh, they can set you up with some great deals for uh, next summer. I think that's it from me. Thank you so much, Tom. You know, great options for Alaska or even just West Coast for anybody who doesn't feel like traveling out of, you know, too far or flying too far. I love the uh, the longer voyages that you have out to Tahiti. So that, I think that's absolutely fabulous. So thank you for sharing your wonderful product with us. Wow. For all of you who joined us, thank you. Thank you for your time. It really is the time is now to start thinking of traveling pick a, uh, a vacation for 2022, 2023, even 2024. As I've said numerous times, we have much to make up for. And it's very, very important that we enjoy ourselves. Um, you know what? Life is short. And I think two years ago, none of us would have thought that we wouldn't be able to leave our country for two years. So Let's look and plan for the future. Thank you for your time today. Thank you for your past travels with us. We look forward to uh, planning your next vacation. We've had a few presenters on the last couple of days, but be aware that our World Explorer event covers a multitude of different cruise lines and land suppliers. So if it's not something we spoke about in the last two days or even tomorrow, please reach out to your consultant, whatever your vacation plans are. I'm sure we'll be able to help you and find you a fabulous trip. Please join us tomorrow, 7 p.m. We're going to have our third day of our world uh, virtual event. We're going to be featuring Oceana Cruises with Europe, Silver Sea with Galapagos and Antarctica, and also Royal Caribbean multi-generation. So thank you again for joining us. Have a wonderful day, and we hope to hear from you soon and help you plan your next dream vacation. Bye, everybody. Bye.